Well, my name is Mildred Lusk. On Sunday in the South Valley, years ago when we first came here, we were the youngest. Now we're the oldest. But you went neighboring, which meant you visited with your neighbors. And so the people got to be real people. So I had someone walk in my house one day and look around and say, oh, you're clean. They didn't know me, so either I had a clean house or a dirty mm-hmm. house. It was things like that, you know, it's- just your love of animals and people and neighbors. And it, that's what made South Valley a community of people caring about each other. And if you needed something, they were the first ones there to help you out. Bessie Romero feels more like home. We try to keep our traditions going here. You come into the valley and then you start seeing the little gardens, the chickens crossing the road with their little baby chicks and like small stores, family owned stores, the people. I think we're a lot more friendlier. We're here to help one another when somebody's in need. I want it to continue. I want, I want all the young people to continue with their art and expressing themselves. I've been crafting and doing art for 53 years. With the store right now, I want to start giving classes so I can teach other people what I have learned throughout the years. I love the South Valley. I call it my Valle Encantado, Enchanted Valley. I'm Hilda Ramos, and we've been in the South Valley since 18 years ago. There's a lot of Hispanics here, so we feel you know, at home, basically. Um, And one of the main reasons um, after we started, when we opened up this business, was we realized there was a lot of people that needed help. I mean, it's just, to us, it's just very important to try to give other people, you know, the help. I guess it's just pretty much because we grew up here. Love for your community, the people you know, um, the schools, um, and I just, I mean, I did move other places and I just didn't feel comfortable. But when we moved here, it's just, there's something about the South Valley that just makes me feel at home. It's, it's amazing. There's a lot of people here that they don't think, you don't think about it, but once everybody comes together, if there's somebody in need or if there's something that needs to be done, everything goes out the window. You know, everybody pulls together and everybody helps out in whatever way they possibly can. Mi nombre es José Luis Hernández, tengo viviendo aquí desde el 80 y siempre he vivido en el Valle del Sur. Tenemos 15 años con esta tienda, gracias a Dios, que nos ha ayudado para servir a la comunidad. Soy originario de México, pero ya tengo yo aquí desde el 80. Me siento dentro de esta comunidad. Mis hijos han crecido aquí, aquí nacieron y para mí es mi sangre este lugar. Somos una familia. Me siento como una familia. Chicanos, mexicanos y, y anglos. Me siento en una familia. My name is Dina DeVore and I've been living in New Mexico for about 10 years and started coming down to the South Valley for about nine years. I just like the old, you know, type feeling that you get from down here. And not a lot has changed, which I like the fact that, you know, it's not trying to keep up with the bigger cities, you know. I've always grown up around diversity, so I found that here. Uh, the feeling I get when I come, just love, a lot of love. Just like I'm home. Uh, this isn't my home, but I feel like I'm home when I'm here. Yeah. Stefan Gonzalez. Most people have like a really, I'm gonna be frank, I mean the, like a ghetto view of the South Valley, but in fact it's like mostly made up of, what would you say, farmers? Family you can't like really say anything about any place that you haven't been unless you've been there. And everyone takes care of each other. That's one thing no one ever wants to go and change over here. Everyone does what they have to do to take care of their neighbor, and they do the same thing for us. My best friend Steven has been coming over here since I don't know, six, eight. We hold it really, really proudly that we will take care of everybody else around us. My name is Leonard G. Marcus. I lived on the South Valley for 52 years. Cause this is the heart of the whole town right here. And the South Valley is a place where you can come and have family times. It's a family place. You know, a lot of people want to move down here. 
Everybody says South Valley's crazy. It's not. We're not crazy. And there might be one bad apple in a group of good apples. So there's a lot of good people down there, and it's it's just great. You know, it's a family. It's totally awesome down there. I would never give it to South Valley to go anywhere else. This is beautiful. It's so it's beautiful that you can wake up at six o'clock in the morning, see wildlife. You know, get up and smell your coffee and smell the air and come out of your smell of alpha. You ain't gonna smell that anywhere else but in the South Valley. It's all me. I, um, me and the South Valley been going steady for 52 years, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a way of life, you know, it's, it's slower down here, everything's just great. But like I said, you know, it's no hustle and bustle, it's, it's a way of living life down here, nice and slow. Marcia, Beauregard Fernandez. You know, I lived in, I managed the mobile home park for four years, and I like the space, I like the, uh, I liked my neighbors. There were people who were just very accepting, and, and I had three three small children at the time, and some friends of ours, a bunch of us moms got together, and we started a preschool. You know, the roots of people run deep here. The people who are engaged in this community really, really feel like they are part of the community. I've lived in every quadrant of Albuquerque. I never, ever lived in a place that people had a shared identity. The South Valley has a sense of place that I haven't found any place else. It's my home. This is where we got, when we got married, we bought a house here. We raised uh, three children here. We are raising grandkids here. Um, this is home. My name is Monica Skiba. I have lived here for my whole life, 32 and a half years. Well, I did leave New Mexico for college and it really showed me that the South Valley is very unique compared to anywhere else. The culture here is very strong. When I came back from college, we reclaimed my grandmother's water rights, and she lives in the South Valley, too. From there, we started a big, huge garden in the back of her yard. My dad is a beekeeper there, and he is out in the garden every day, and it's giving us all fresh food to eat. And so having gone through that whole process of reclaiming the wa water rights and making sure that we're using them for something that's useful for our community feels so good. My name is Litsy Flores. My parents were originally from Mexico, but they came here. I don't know what I want to be when I grow up older, but definitely have a garden of my own. I'm definitely, I don't want to leave. I definitely want to stay here because it's just home. I just love this place so much. So I don't think I want to leave. For those who think that the South Valley stinks, you're wrong. You don't know this place. I suggest you go out there and explore the place yourself because it really is amazing and I'm really glad I am part of the South Valley.